Boxing, King Media in association with Boxro, Mark Efron. Obviously last time at Lennox Clark, a big fight, there was obviously a lot of pressure on your shoulders, you as the underdog, but it's completely different this time, now you're the favourite, so how do you kind of deal with that? Um, well, I've, just got, I've got to deal with it, I know, um, I, I enjoy being here, uh, boxing, um, I'm really looking forward to, to Saturday night. Just quickly uh, reflecting on you know your last performance, has it still sunk in because you, you went in as the underdog, you did something that nobody expected, you stopped him and you won every single round, uh, you know I mean, has it all sunk in since? I don't think it'll. Uh, I don't think it'll ever sink in. Um, it's, it was a very good win for me. I beat a very good opponent in Lennox Clark. Tough, durable. He come and he had it with me, like he said he was gonna do. Um, yeah. And obviously your post-fight reaction. Obviously, I, I did a little video on it as well, which you know people kind of liked the way you reacted because people like to see the real side of boxes yeah, as well. Yeah. So you know it was, it was nice to see that. What it meant to you? Yeah, I know it uh, meant the absolute world to me. Um, like I said in interviews before, I'm not cried, and I, I, I can never cry. Uh, I cried when, when my mum died. It's, that's about it. That's the, that's the only time I can remember the last time I cried. And obviously that that fight and that win meant the absolute world to me to, to win them three unreal titles. I was uh, buzzing. I would mean. That's what I mean. You went from no titles to three straps and three really good straps as well. One which has got your world ranking as well. Uh, what was it like going back to your mum's grave? Because I, I saw a picture that you, you went down with, you know, the, a few days later with the belts. Yeah, I was absolutely buzzing. Uh, it was just obviously, I wish my mum was there. And I wish she could have uh, celebrated with me. Um, yeah, it was a very good feeling to go up there with it. Because obviously, the, the night bit, the, bit, before I set off, I wanted to the grave on my own to see my mum until I'd bring them back. And uh, yeah, I went out with my, my girlfriend and my little girl, Poppy. And we uh, was all, all buzzing, yeah. Brilliant, man. And obviously, you've done, you've done your mum proud. And obviously, this time around, you've got a fight that, you know, on paper, it's a keep busy fight, but it's an Argentinian yeah. and you know you can't afford to take your eye off the game. No, no, I train. Every fight to me is like a world title fight. I, I put 100% in all the time. I never cut no corners. Um, when you cheat, when you cheat, you're only cheating yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm prepared for a good fight. And what are you thinking? I don't want you to look too far ahead, but if you want to stick to that domestic route and try and win that British title, or do you want to go to how many of them world rankings? Just whatever my team think. Kevin Marie, my manager, Joe Gallagher, my trainer, and Frank Warren for more. Whatever they think is best for me, um, I'm, I'm happy to go with, yeah. And have you got a last bit of advice for any fighter that suffers a loss early in their career? Because you're another example of a guy that's... Yeah. You, you lost to Denzel Bentley, but yeah. you came back and well, you turned your career around. Just got to stay positive and keep grinding, yeah. That's it. That's it. Keep working, yeah. Keep working. Top man, Michael. Well, I wish you all the best Saturday night, mate, and uh, go smash it. Thank you, mate. Thank you.